Good Wednesday morning. Glad to be with you. And we're in Luke chapter 13. And Jesus has this conflict with people uh, on the Sabbath because he heals somebody on the Sabbath. And uh, the synagogue official got all over him and he said, uh, uh, he became indignant and he, he said, there are six days which work should be done. And therefore, he says, come during them, uh, uh, work should be done. Therefore, uh, come during them and get healed, not on the Sabbath. Uh, that's what he's saying about the healing of the Sabbath. And Jesus says, you hypocrites, does not each of you on the Sabbath untie his ox and donkey from the stall, lead him away to water him again? In other words, you work. And so they were comparing, uh, you, you know, uh, healing to just ordinary work on the Sabbath. Well, first of all, the law did establish the Sabbath day. That so we should rest on the Sabbath day. We should set it apart so that we can think about God and our relationship. Our bodies need rest. Our minds need rest. We need a distraction from our everyday work. But law is to be beneficial to man. It's to protect man. God's law led men and women and boys and girls and the Jews to him. Uh, it pointed out their deficiencies and it led them to him for to his mercy and his grace and whatever. It was never meant to restrict them so that they couldn't be human. And then it was never meant to be added to so much so uh, that it became impossible to really be comfortable in the law. That's one of the problems with legalism. When is it enough? When, when are the laws enough? Uh, that's the problem in our country. We've got over 47,000 plus uh, gun laws. When's it going to be enough? People are still killing each other. That, that, that's not the answer. And that's what Jesus is trying to point out. And people are more important to God than any restriction that he might have ever placed upon them. I mean, how can you compare uh, uh, healing with a person to some violation of a law that wouldn't allow you to do that, that you had to wait until tomorrow to do that? If I get sick, I want to be healed right now. I know you do too. And so our well-being is, is more important uh, than anything else. This, this person came into well-being physically, but also spiritually, and that, in fact, is the most thing. And healing is never prohibited anywhere in Scripture. And you can't prohibit God from healing anybody anyway. And that's what they were trying to do. They were trying to prevent God from doing a miracle to benefit. And this miracle actually pointed out their own deficiency. And that, like, listen, God can heal anybody, anytime, any place He wants to. He doesn't need our permission. And there's no violation of the law. We need, we need to be very careful that we don't surround ourselves with laws, restrictions, and traditions that will take us away from caring for the souls of men and women and to do everything we can to help them, no matter what day it is. Every day is sacred. And so we need to treat it like that. Heavenly Father, we thank you that in Jesus Christ, we learned that every day, in fact, is sacred. And Father, we don't want to ever surround ourselves with anything that will take us away from serving you and serving people. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.